is a three horse single or three horsepower three phase motor i've decided to use that for my drill press i got that single phase two horse but i want to control it with a variable speed drive so we're going to try to use this three phase i'm going to take it apart here look it over a little bit make sure the bearings are cleaned up uh, it did run sat outside for a little bit and we're gonna just check it out get the water out of it crazy there pretty rough in there got a lot to clean up I'll take the other side off now so we're gonna do take off this back side here quick See, we're gonna take the hot seat of this whole thing and I'll be a little gentle on the windings so I don't rip the coating off the wires get all that grease out of there we'll repack her up with some good grease that's just nasty get her all cleaned up hopefully she works again <laughs> in the shop bearings turned out really nice they actually well that one sounds like she's got a nice little rough one in there but yeah i don't know might be a piece of dirt in there seems pretty tight but we got another issue these little fins here they're all broke off on the other side so Evidently, the way these motors got designed, this one was on an old punch press, so I imagine metal got in there as she's spinning around. But I found no signs of them. You can see there some pieces got in there, but it was running good. So I'm gonna keep on running it this way, I think. Windings all look pretty good yet. Insulation's intact. I tried not to tear it up too bad. We'll put it together and see if we can get it to run, grease it up. If not, she's going to the iron. three-phase three-horse motor hooked up to my little frequency drive and I got single phase 240 coming in so we're gonna hit hit, hit start and we'll ramp it up to 60 Hertz and it's gonna slowly wind up I got this set so it'll I don't know if you can see that
This bearing, that's the one that sounded just a little bit rough. I think I might have to replace it. I just as well, if I can find one. My mistake was I didn't take the numbers off before I put it together. I'll see if I can find it on the video though. Okay, we're at 40. And this motor is the lower RPM. I can't see it right now. She's a little out of balance because of those little fins in there. I probably could have ground those down because they're not doing any good anyhow now. Might have smoothed out, but it's not bad. It's not rattling off this cart anyhow. So we're at 60 hertz there. Fairly quiet. I'm just a little worried about that bearing there. That's the one that's going to have thrust on it. So I'd probably get one ordered. We're going to set it back in here. This way I can control it. I can go down real quick. And now it's down to 27 hertz. And heck, you can slow it all the way down to say five. Five's right there. And I'm gonna tell you right now, I've tried this, but I cannot. You can't stop that sucker. That, that is pulling hard. So I'm assuming the as much copper's in this thing, it's gonna take the heat, even running that slow. Uh, if not, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, guys. We're gonna get her painted up and get a new bearing in there and put her on the old drill press here.